All right, we are hitting the streets here in Cape Town, hitting the pavement. Uh, just left our Airbnb here in Devatakant. Devatakant is, from first impression, sort of a wealthier suburb. Definitely a lot of like private developments, private real estate going up. I'd say our place is definitely considered a luxury stay. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. We're, pay we're paying more for it, for yeah. sure, for the safety, because it's our first time here. We didn't really know. <laughs> yeah. I think too, yeah, out of all the Airbnbs we've stayed at around the world, I think I might have paid the most for this one, actually. Yeah, it's kind of like California prices, but again, we have 24 seven security and it's a great building with a great view. So yeah, the we're view happy. is <laughs> the view is un, unparalleled. Yeah, so today we just want to walk around a little bit and get a get a vibe for the place, get a feel. Oh, yes, this one? It is 360. Okay. There are definitely parts of the city where you don't want to be out and about with a camera so you know just kind of blatantly holding a nice technological device in your hand that could get jacked that could get moment. jacked at any moment exactly this area feels pretty safe i'd say at night obviously it's a different story but during the day we feel pretty comfortable it's just the reality there's so you know sketchy characters that come by there's a ton of private security everywhere so we just try to blend in but this camera that we're filming on now may not have the best audio but it's definitely the safest option for us to be able to show you guys where we're at oh you got the taxis they cram like 20 people into each one <laughs> yeah. and they go very fast yeah they do drive like madmen out here so okay. here we're coming up on our main grocery store spar hello hello Oh yeah, this is where we get our groceries. Not bad. Oh, our guy's not working. Oh, he told me to tell you hi the other day. Oh, there's a guy. He's a private security for Spar, the grocery store, and he's the best. Like we've become such buds with him. Here we got a bootleggers coffee, which is probably one of the most popular chains here. I mean, it's, it's actually a little bit better than Vita, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say I think they definitely a make bit. a much better coffee than Vita. Yeah. Vita's cool though. Vita's, Vita's their other popular one. But. So this is our gym. I'll probably go in later with the GoPro, but... It's nice that it's in the same building as where we go for this. Yeah, so that's the gym. Now this looks like bow cap with all the colorful homes, but it ain't. <laughs> uh, just left Devatakan CBD area, and now we're heading direction waterfront. Uh, this is a really cool park. Whoa. Look at this. A skate park, a basketball court down there. Oh, they're setting up for an event or something. There's a lot of events happening. There was already an event actually at the at the waterfront the other day as well. And uh, there's always something going on, I feel like, in Cape Town. There's just always something happening. Look at the backdrop of the city. Wow. And then right down here, you got some beautiful canals. Yeah, we were here earlier um, by these canals and there were people like stand up paddle boarding, kayaking. <laughs> and uh, there's even there's these group of guys that are actually playing this like, sport with kayaks where there's basically two goals on, on each one on each side and you got to score and it was pretty, pretty wild. Got a tour boat. We're doing that soon. Yeah, we're going to do that as well. I feel like that's one of the best ways to get a vibe of the city. And it's also pretty affordable. Let's see these guys go through here. Nice. Got a Ferrari just chilling right there. I think this is the like a factory or they sell them here because we walked by here the other day and yeah, you can see, look inside here. Very nice. Yeah, so far, like this area is really cleaned up, really nice. 
I feel super safe here. This is this is. Yeah, you're near the waterfront. Though. Yeah. We read, but it's very much. There's a lot of wealth there. And yeah. It's definitely very, meant much for more tourists. tourists. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, we are now making it to the waterfront silo district. As you can see here, there's some boats that they're working on here in this yard. But right over there is the silo district, and that area is pure luxury in my in my impression. Like we were there the other day. We even checked out a gym, a Virgin Active gym, and their monthly membership was so insanely expensive. I was like, who affords this? All right, we've made it to the heart of the silo district, and all these buildings are so modern and just sleek and pretty new, I'd say. Right in front of us right now is the Mocha Museum. Mocha stands for the Museum of Contemporary Art Africa. If you haven't been inside yet, it's something we definitely plan on doing, uh, but just the exterior alone is quite impressive. Look at that thing. That is badass. I think it used to be some kind of factory or mill or something, but those those windows, the way they did that kind of geometric shape is pretty cool. And oh, there's this really cool coffee spot we found uh, called Rosetta right here. Amazing coffee. One of our favorite cups of that we've had so far in Cape Town. I'd yeah, say. they make a bomb flat white. Yeah, this is it right here. So. It's actually below the gym that we checked out. The Virgin Active is right above it. But right here is the coffee shop. Get the espresso in that. Like, what I love about flat whites that are done well is when the espresso cuts through. And this one, like, the first sip, I already feel a zing. Yes. Rosetta does it very well. Origin, too. Origin Rosetta. Truth. I heard Espresso Labs looks really good. We haven't been there yet. Espresso Labs. As I don't know if you guys have noticed already, but even in this last, you know, hour or so, the weather's already changed on us a bit. It was yeah. sunny an hour ago, and now clouds are coming over. It's a bit more windy. So far, this city is reminding me of a mix of Sydney, Melbourne, and San Francisco. It's got the coastline like Sydney, the irregular weather of Melbourne. Well, and the hilliness, too. And the hilliness, of too. Of San Francisco. Of San Francisco. And, you know, let's call it like it is. There is a little bit of heat homeless population homeless yeah. yeah yeah there's quite a bit the further away from the coast you get the more homeless I feel you see but uh, yeah I mean there's definitely a big wealth gap here more so than I'd say most countries in the world and it's it's definitely a palpable like feeling when you're here to see a lot of the homeless we have now made it to the VNA waterfront VNA stands for Victoria and Alfred uh, we're talking Prince Alfred and Queen Victoria of England and South Africa is part of the Commonwealth. It is a Commonwealth nation, but this happens to be the most visited place in all of South Africa with over 24 million visitors each year. There's an in a huge indoor mall, tons of restaurants, taverns, shops, very international, very touristy. Uh, a lot of people were working on boats. Uh, you can tell there there must be fishermen. They got the fisherman boots on. It's a really nice place to hang out and lounge, see the sunset, get on a boat, get a little tour. You can also this is also where you take off if you want to go to Robben Island uh, to see where you know Nelson Mandela spent many many years. And uh, one thing we also noticed right away is just like how many seals hang out here. Like there's seals everywhere, swimming around, sleeping in tires fighting and playing with each other. Yeah, and this happens to be, as you can see, this is like a working harbor. It's, it's still completely active. Boats are, you know, constantly being worked on, constantly maintained. Uh, as I, sh I kind of showed you guys earlier, that's one of the areas where they do it. But there's also an area behind us over there where they do it as well. And you can up see up there, there's a little bit of lion's head at the top.
can see some of these nice restaurants with the outdoor seating and just phenomenal views. Like over here, you get a view of both Table Mountain and Lion's Head. They get these they have these little like yellow rectangles around the city for photo taking. <laughs> now made it to the luxury indoor mall area. This mall is huge. We were in it the other day and it was just like two levels. Actually it's three levels because there's uh, grocery malls underneath, but it goes on for a while. Ton I'd say hundreds of shops in there. Very clean, air conditioned, super nice. And you can enter from basically any of those points or over here as well. Grab yourself a little bit of fried calamari with the view and enjoy. <laughs> oh, and there's a really awesome bar here that we love called Cause and Effect. They make like these crazy concoctions and cocktails and uh, all the bartenders are good vibes. There's one also at Camps Bay by the same name that we really liked. All right, we are now walking through Greenpoint, which is an inner suburb right next to where we're staying in Devatakant. And the way I'd probably describe Greenpoint is it's definitely more residential, I'd say. There's a lot of good restaurants and coffee shops here too, but a lot of residential spots uh, to stay. I'd also probably say that since being here, we're really happy with our location. Both Devatakant and Greenpoint are super centrally located to where if you wanted to go east or west or any direction, you can and it's easy. So I think, not that, you know, I'm not a local, but I, I would recommend staying in either one just because it seems really practical and easy to get around. And on both, in both of those suburbs, you can also walk to the, to the coast easily. So that's what we're actually doing right now is we're heading towards from Greenpoint to Seapoint to do this coastal promenade. I knew it. <laughs> got some gelato right here. Got Hermanos Barbershop. I might pop in for a haircut there at some point. It's a me. The stadium over there to the right. Oh yeah, you got the stadium over here. I think they're gonna be hosting the Women's World Cup. And yeah, another beautiful day in Cape Town. <laughs> here we got some outdoor gym action right here. Olivia, come on, do a pull up, dude. Get on there. No, you're good. Let's get a couple. Let's get one more. One more. Easy. Definitely not warmed up. But... <laughs> I'm just like so blown away by the coastline here. We did a road trip a couple days ago and like it's just so expansive, so stunning, so wild and it's hard to describe. I mean, I, I just, yeah, South Africa has been blowing our minds. We're definitely already planning a trip back here, I think next you know maybe next january would be great because it's warmer <laughs> it's their summertime <laughs> it's okay <laughs> he was like oh i just got bitch left by a pit bull we have now made it to sea point and we are walking the sea point promenade as you can hear it is very windy out which is not unusual for cape town there's a nice little uh ray-ban sculpture that's nelson mandela Really? Yeah, the Nelson Mandela glasses. Oh wow, a lot of, a lot of things about Mr. Nelson Mandela out here. Um, and because it's so windy, it's also very, very choppy. Woo! What's so cool about this promenade though is that on an average day, especially in the evening time when it gets a bit cooler, there's tons of people running, biking, you got electric scooters going on long walks. Very active city, I'd say, Cape Town. A lot of people exercising. There's a nice out outdoor gym back there that we saw. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a view of Lion's Head right here. Yeah, you got Lion's Head up there, which is such a nice hike. Sea Point's also got some really cool tidal pools, which are basically just pools on the ocean. And you see them all around Cape Town. We haven't had the chance to take a dip in one of those yet, but uh, just a, it's another great option if you don't want to go in the ocean and deal with that, <laughs> you can jump into a tidal pool. But now we are heading to their pavilion, which is an actual pool right on the side of the ocean. Uh, very similar to what you would see in Bondi Beach, Australia. And the other day we grabbed food at this awesome place called Mojo Market, which I, I mean, there's tons of food options within one place. So that's another really cool thing about Sea Point is like literally one block inland from the coast. You got tons of restaurants, cafes, uh, just places to hang out, cocktails, everything. Where are we going, Nathan? 
lifting. <laughs> this is one of the more, I guess, touristy and most beautiful and most bougie places that we're going right on the coast. For my birthday, 30. All right, we were just let in a very fancy gate. Dude, right here, we're walking up to our apartment that we rented for the next few days for my birthday. We're going to uh, experience pure luxury. <laughs> Actually, I think this place per night was just a little bit more expensive than where we're staying in Devatakan. But um, yeah, we, 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 we think it's okay because, you know, it's a birthday. Go shawty, it's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Oh <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me? Can't wait to go in and jump in right now. Wow, oh my god, look, all these people have pools on this side. Dude. Dude, we could just chill on the grass too. That's nice. This is the walk room where we're staying. <laughs> so practical. Wow. This is just insane. This is like one of the pristine white sand beaches that is protected from the wind. We out here. <laughs> Clifton Beach. Super delicious beach. Perfect view. No uh, wind. There's obstruction from wind, so you're safe. You have view of lion's head. Super lion. Uh, pointy <laughs> mountain not far. Incredible. People in bikini, thong, tight at the buck crack. Um, everybody from international foreign uh, investment company. Yes, everybody here vacation. No, uh, no. Definitely <laughs> clear water, no wave, no shark. You pay extra, super nice. We heard Clifton's Beach was like prime, and it is. We got the peaks over here on this side, so freaking beautiful. So much greenery, a lot of palm trees. The sand is white and super fine. Right behind us, look. Right behind us. That's Lion's Head right there. Oh, yeah. And then In our here, apartment. Got all the condos. <laughs> yeah. But we're protected from the wind. So, yeah, this one's a prime spot. Oh, doggo over there. Come on, buddy. There he comes. Dude, that's so sick, right on the beach. That's the second guy to do it this morning. Yes, yes, get down. It's super windy, man. I, got, I can't even see the wind in my face. We like the Bunga Bunga party out here. Super party. Super party. It got pretty windy here, so I'm gonna be doing a voiceover. Here we're walking from Clifton to Camps Bay. It's only about 20 minutes. Camps Bay is basically the most touristy, most visited, most ritzy part of Cape Town. There's a lot of fancy real estate everywhere. You get a great view of both Lion's Head and the 12 Apostles. And it's a very active area. There's people walking, jogging, playing volleyball, going for a swim. There's a ton of nice restaurants and cafes, but you can of course expect to pay more because it is a tourist hub. Nasty sweaty clothes inside. 